Alright, so this is just a quick tip on um, projecting um, detail, obviously from one mesh to the other, but only in part. So, let's say for instance, as is the case here, I have this character, the character I'm working on, um, this is just one of the sub tools, this chest plates, shoulder plates, arms, shells, back legs, uh, incisors, and eyes, and all the rest of it. So, but this is the sub tool that I want to project onto. So <coughs> in this case, the chest plate sub. I've deleted all these other sub tools, includes the chest plates, because I've sculpted two sort of different versions of them, and this is the one that I like better. So this has uh, the chest plates are integrated into the model. Whereas this other one here, they're a separate sub tool, but I like, um, sorry, I like uh, this design better. So I want to take this detail here from this chest and put it onto this one. But at the same time, this one has details on the head <coughs> and down here around the pelvis sort of area that I want to keep. <coughs> so basically, what, what we want to do is mask out the areas that we don't want to project details on so it's mainly just the chest <coughs> sorry but as it is if I try to project these which are protruding now from the mesh onto this here which is you know inset back into the mesh there's a, a bit of a discrepancy there in, in, in the distance when you're projecting you can um You can use, uh, sorry, when you're projecting, you can use this distance slider here. <coughs> sorry, so if you increase the distance, it's going to search further and further out, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work too well and you end up with a messed up sort of mesh. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, sub tool drop down. Um, I'm going to append the mesh that we want to uh, or we're going to pen the mesh that <coughs> we want to take the details from so I'm just going to solo there so uh, project when you're projecting it it respects uh, solo mode so you don't have to worry about only one mesh being visible so this is our mesh here I'm going to project onto it and below that in the stack sub till uh, list is the one we're taking the details from. So what we're going to do here first, as I said already, because of the discrepancy between the height differences in the plates on the chest here, we can smooth all this detail out. But um, what we want to do is uh, use the ultimate smoothing brush so we can maintain the volume. So if we use the normal smooth. It'll, sorry, let's go down to the first level. If I use the, the usual smooth brush, the standard one, it kind of melts everything out and can see there that uh, it started to flatten the um, the mesh in there. So what we're going to do is hold down shift, click the left mouse button, hold it, release shift, and that'll bring us into the alternate smooth brush mode, which maintains the volume. You can see here, curve is maintained. So when you're smoothing, it's going to smooth out large scale details. You always want to start at the lowest level, smooth it step up through your levels um, one by one so we're going to level two here hold shift down left down release shift smooth so the bottom levels where your main forms are always make sure that you, know, you try and maintain them for this projection but as you go up through the levels as you can see <coughs> the main the, the forms turn into kind of um, They've been smoothed out at the lower level, so as you, it propagates up the levels, it becomes higher frequency detail. Then, so we'll just use the mountain shift just for this level as well. Um, you can see there, like the the remnants, the details are still there, but they're, you know, it's very faint. It's so high frequency now. This is always good to bear in mind when sculpting and zebrush using levels. So it's just stepping up there against the last one. You see, it's not even really 
I don't do much, so that's good enough now. And the last thing I want to do here is uh, because I want to retain the details here and here and only project here, I'm just going to mask, mask out these areas. Perspective and just this part in the back here. So we then mask and control click on the mask a couple of times to blur it out. Now I'm going to step back down to the force level and down here, sub tool menu, project, uh, drop down, project all. Don't worry about this, it's just a weird crazy um, bug sometimes. Some of the things you do with, uh, I think it's to do with layers, if you had layers on, on the model at any stage. It just, uh, this is just poly paint. Um, that you can just, I didn't poly paint it, but it puts black poly paint onto your model, so you can just turn it off here. Go down to poly paint, roll it, and, and check colorize, but we'll just leave it on because it's going to keep happening on every level. So step up a level. And uh, project all again. Step up again. Project all. Again. You see there, I'm um, just going to step back down a level, maybe to level two, and I'm just increasing this, I just increased that a small bit, so um, if you see, for instance, I could see that details weren't being projected properly, so I just increased this, project again. Down once more. So you can step up through your levels. And obviously, um, as you go up through the levels, the time is going to. Uh, Increase the amount of time that it takes to <coughs> to do the project function. Obviously, higher the uh, poly count, the longer it's going to take to calculate. So, one more level. Seem a bit daunting or long winded or whatever, or frightening of some of these said brush techniques um, when people aren't used to using the program. But um, diving in there and just experimenting and trying out different things because a lot of things in ZBrush, you know, you kind of have to think up new ways to use the tools in conjunction in ways that they weren't necessarily designed. But sometimes it's um, you just have to work like that in ZBrush, but it's I won't even go into it, but it's, uh, it's an amazing tool. So, that's pretty much the projection done. I'll just turn off this colorize and clear the mask. Now, there's one or two weird sort of errors here. Now, just before I recorded this, I, I was actually um, I was actually doing this because I wanted to do it, because I wanted to continue on with this model. I hadn't touched them in a while, so... Uh, and then I just decided I'd, I'd record it, but I'd, I've actually done it before using the exact same um, method procedure I just showed you, and, and there was no kind of there was no kind of weirdness like this. But if you get this sort of weirdness, 
not really a huge thing. You can just step back down to your levels again. And uh, this bit here, I'm just gonna just gonna smooth smooth that out. Oops, go back down down to level two. I'm sorry, I'm, I usually use a tablet, but uh, I'm using a mouse here, so now I just use the shift smooth method again there. Sorry, the, the alternate smooth, because uh, it's going weird there, but as I said, it didn't um, go weird the first time I did it, it worked perfectly. So, just when you do get projection errors like that, it's nothing to be uh, too um, freaked out over, you know, you can just uh, rework them by stepping up through your levels. Or you can also, um, I'll just go back down again there, you can also uh, Reproject up to the levels again. It's no, it's no big deal, you know. So that's uh, basically it. Um, for this particular technique, it, it's worked out quite handy here because I was able to. Uh, now in hindsight, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have did it the way I did it. But uh, I would have just duplicated this and went a different route, or else I would have sculpted on layers. But for one reason or another, it was it was to be a, a pr production model, but it got cancelled. So the, the model came to a halt, and I didn't bring it any further. But uh, you know, it's just I got stuck, and I wanted to move on. So this was the method I used, so I could continue on. So. You know, it's good to have these workarounds. It's it's not the end of the world. Something like that happens to you in your in your process, and you think you've lost your tool, or you think you have to resculpt detail, or whatever. You know, there's there's workarounds, and uh, I suppose this is one of them. So I hope it was you know, useful to somebody, because it was uh, useful for me. All right, cheers. Thanks. Good luck.